Hey everybody and welcome back to my dream machine. In this video I'm going to teach you guys how to do this design. It's an applique with a few adjustments because I made some mistakes. Um, only on my dream machine and my scan and cut, my new scan and cut. So um, McDreamy and McSteamy. So my name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery. Let's get started. This is going to be quite the project and actually it's a lot of fun to do. So what I did, I'm just strictly using things on the machine. So let's pick this gorgeous lettering. It's number eight and let's have a look at it. I'm going to do the S or we can do something else if you want. Let's do something completely different. What could we do? We could do the O from OML. I think that would be nice. Set and we're going to go to edit and I want to change the size because I want it a bit smaller. It doesn't go very small because it's an elaborate design, but that's okay. Now we're centered. If you want to double check it, just click it right there. Let's go to edit and we're going to go here to this flower with the outline on it and cool. That's what we want to do. Now there's no magic number for this one. I am going to, cause this is how inflated we're going to make the line. So when I'm doing this, I look at how things are cut out and this one's not bad. I've done a couple where it's really bad that it, you know, the inside needs to be inflated. That one looks pretty good. And the next thing we do here is we're going to save it to my design center. So it says recall from my design center stamp pattern list. Okay. I'm happy with that. So we have that. That's okay. We remember that we did it the smallest. So you need to remember these numbers up here and that's the size, not so much for this one because we know it won't go any smaller, but if you're doing other things, just remember the numbers so we can bring it back. So delete sec pattern. That's okay. We want to go to my design center and we want to, this is the icon that they showed us. Now, if you haven't snooped this section, you should, there is a lot to see in here and a lot of designs that you can use and get creative with, but we want this one. This is our same flower with the outline and we're going to pick the O. You can see I was playing around with it. So select the O press OK. And here we have our outline. Isn't that cool? I think it's really neat. If you have a hard time seeing it on the grid, it's right up here. So right now it's just line. It's not embroidery and it won't stitch out. It's not anything. Now this, this is for the, the lower one is for fill stitches and this one's for outline. If you do the pencil, it does exactly what you think you can write on the screen, which is handy for handwriting or kids drawings or anything like that. But I want this one because we want to fill the line basically. Looks like a coffee cup to me, but maybe I need to wake up. Let's go there and then we can pick. Now for this one, we just want um, regular stitches. So a single stitch. Now these do different things, but we don't really need to worry about it because we're not drawing it. So this is a triple stitch. This is candle wicking and this is another kind of stitch and this is satin stitch. It's not zigzag. It's satin. You can't uh, change the density enough on it. So, okay, let's make sure this is on and all you have to do is touch the line. If you see it changed, it's darker than the bottom one and that one. Excellent. So go to next and I don't want to change any of the settings on this. I'm just going to double check everything. We're going to go to preview and the my design center data will not be saved. Okay to continue. Yes, it's okay to continue. Now we are in the embroidery section and now is when we can save it. So you can do set and okay. And here is where we want to save it. So we want to go to memory and we want to save it. You can save it to the um, USB actually we will do that in a minute. So it's saved to the machine. That's perfect. We want to save it to the USB 
there we go and that is what we're going to take over to our cutter in the next video so yay we've done that now the next thing we do so that's our placement line that's perfect the next thing we want to do is make our zigzag stitches or i guess it's satin stitches so we are going to go to back to and it's okay if we delete it because we have it saved my design center and we're going to do the recall of our O again and this time we are going to select this this time we're going to select this and we're going to leave it on zigzag stitch and all you have to do is touch it and it'll change what i want to do actually is change the color to something because we want color stops in it so try to remember to do that and there and there you can see the color changes go to next and looks good looks good the next thing you have to remember on the one that i showed you i forgot so on this one you have to remember now you can change the density but not enough to make it a zigzag stitch so it's not the greatest um we will be using my goody stick so we don't have to worry about it coming up so we can do it in two steps instead of three but we do want the stitching to be wider to cover over our edges now it only goes to 2.24 and that was a bit thick so i'm gonna leave it at two and set and remember to go to your next object and do the same thing or else it won't work but you can always go back and we're going to make it exactly the same we're going to make it two and we're going to go to set and that's looking good i did both you can check here if you want yep both let's go to preview and okay and that looks fantastic so you can save it here or you can set it into embroidery now we're going to save it perfect thank you so now let's put this all together so we can do it so let's uh delete this and we have to put everything in the right order so starting off we want the placement stitches and set and that's fantastic now if you wanted to do another set so it would just stitch in like inside the line you can do that i didn't find it necessary i thought it was fine so that's our our placement or our put down stitches let's just add another one anyways it's here in our memory so we might as well use it you can see i was playing around with it and what we want to do on this one is change the color so we have a stop so we're good so put in the hoop stitch out the first one put your fabric down our pieces because we're going to cut them but if you're not pre-cutting them put your fabric down and stitch it down cut it and then the next thing we want of course we'll go to add the next thing we want go into our memory is we want our satin stitch outline set yep that's looking really good different colors you can change this one i haven't decided what i'm doing it on yet but it's okay so then then we have to do one more thing and bring in our letter again so you kind of have to save everything and then bring it in in the right order so it works because you can't move things around uh don't forget to edit size it and if you remember we did it the smallest possible now that's not quite how i like it i don't think it's a real problem but i think i would like this moved out a little bit the not the o i did the wrong one so we can do okay and we can undo that but you can see the satin stitches are a little bit tight on there and i don't quite like that so let's go to size let's make the o smaller it might look okay but i think i want to make the o a bit bigger so let's try this one yes just a little bit so it works a little bit better i kind of like how it works there it's it's up a bit so what we needed to do is make the outline bigger so if you run into this it's gonna happen i mean it would be okay but i would like everything 
further away. So let's go OK. Now all you have to do, that's really easy, all you have to do is delete. Now we have this in order, you can save it so we don't have to do those steps again. However, this is going to be in the wrong order. So, hmm, we're going to have to work on this. Now, it's easy. Don't worry about it. So I just deleted the outside, and then we're going to delete the other outside, which I did wrong, but it doesn't matter. So, okay, let's bring in our letter again, and we're just going to fix the one piece that I didn't like. So, you know, it's just literally up to you on it what you want to do. So go to edit, go to size. We're going to make it the smallest because we want everything to fit. Click OK. And then we're going to go here and we're going to make it a bit bigger, a little bit bigger because we did 56 before. So you can see it's a little bit too close. So I would say for this one, it would be around here. So over a hundred, I think is what's going to work. So let's uh, save it again and let's go into my design center again. It's a quick fix. It's a quick fix. And here, and we're going to go here to this one. You can see what the difference is. So a little bit of trial and error, but you know what? It won't hurt us to go over everything quickly again right so that's what we're doing now this is i want to go back there i'm doing it too quickly too quickly and this is our outline stitch so we've got everything right boop and boop next select make sure everything preview i know thanks mcdreamy for letting me know everything let's set and let's go okay and then we're going to save this and then we're going to go back to our design center see it's pretty easy maybe a little bit tedious but that's okay i want it to be right there's no point stitching anything out if it's not good so let's go here and i already know what it's on uh, but i do want to change the color to something weird how about that green that'll do so it seems complicated but it's good so let's zigzag and it's zigzag and what do we have to remember we have to remember to change the width of it so set make sure you select your second one do the width again and we want it on 200 set preview and i know thanks mcdreamy that looks fantastic. So let's set it and let's save it to memory. And now we're actually back at where we started. So let's delete this and let's bring everything back in. So see you guys, it's not, it's not too bad. Make sure you do it properly. So this is our first set, which I'll go and delete, but this is our second set. This is our put down stitch, the placement stitch to show you where to put everything. I'm going to add another one of those from memory. Same thing, just add it, set, and I'm going to change that color to like purple because we want the color change. And then we are going to bring in our outline stitches. So we want to do add and go back to our memory. There we go, set and that's looking great so add one more time and we are going to bring in the actual letter and we pick the letter o and last time we had it a little bit too tight uh we've got to edit we've got a size and we're going to make this smaller now doesn't that look better so really if it's not how you want it make sure that you change it to how you want it and I think that looks way better and it's worth the two minutes that it took me to you know do that so uh, take off our editing screen now this first one we want to change it right here to a cutout and there we go and that is telling the cutter machine that it is an applique so that is what that line the first line is what the machine's going to pick up on so that's the key thing and uh look how fantastic this is now obviously i'm not going to use all these colors 
but we're also good to go. So that is how you make a design simply using the Dream Machine 2 for all its pieces. And we're going to do lots more of this because it's really fun. And in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to save and then cut this out on the machine, how to set it up and how to make it work. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys liked this video and make sure you subscribe and like to let me know that you want more videos just like this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.